If ever proof was needed that time flies while you're having fun, just ask Rod Stewart. Would you believe he's been making hit records for more than 50 years now? And his latest album, his 30th, is released next week. It's an extraordinary career and clearly a hard living and loving life of rock star excess agrees with him. Rod is 73 but looks and acts decades younger. And as you're about to see, success means never slowing down. Hey, do you put those down? It's an adrenaline rush going for a spin in any Lamborghini. Here, here. 30 mile an hour. Slow down. Yes, thank you. Obey the law, Stuart. No one is above the law. And keep your eye on the road. But with rock and roll legend Rod Stewart in the hot seat, it's also, well, unpredictable. Oh, sorry. Oh, no. What's the matter? There's no road out of here either. We're fucked. We have to go down the other way, don't we? Yeah, I've got to go back. Where's reverse? Quick. Mate, I uh, don't know. There is. <laughs> You're asking me? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> and now we go into one. And the hits keep coming when he suddenly realises his prized Italian speed machine is almost out of juice. Are you serious? Is the petrol really bad? Really bad, yeah. That will make headlines if you run out of petrol. Oh, man, did we cop this up or what? But always the entertainer, the Rod Stewart show must go on. How's it so far, Pro Go? What's it called, the camera? GoPro. Faux Bro. GoPro. So Bro. We're going up to the, my, my pub. My local pub's called The Cock. <laughs> you know, there's, it's actually a cock and feather, but for obvious reasons, we call it The Cock. Yeah. Rod Stewart is a larrikin who was born to perform. In his 50-year career, he sold over 200 million albums and had dozens of top 40 hits around the world. He's even got a knighthood. Here we go, then. Here we go. I'm a bit confused, actually. Why is that? Well, and how to address you. Oh, it's Rod. It's just old, yeah, good it's, old Rod. It's Rod. Not so much of the old. It's Rod, it'll be fine. So it's not Sir Roderick? No, 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 no. <clears throat> I can't think of anybody that calls me Sir Rod. Someone Sitting in the middle of Rod Stewart's man cave... Grab your coat and get your hat. It's easy to see that at 73, rocking Rod is nowhere near retiring. Looks like you're going all, all my knees, all my knees. <laughs> well, I actually am going all my knees. Instead, Rod says he's using the long years on the road to help him write songs for his 30th studio album, Blood Red Roses. I'm a survivor and I'm still doing it. Where do you drag the inspiration from? Uh, age, honesty. The older you get, the more you've got to write about. <laughs> Because I'm getting older, I can't sing or write songs like you think I'm sexy or Hot Legs or any of those raunchy songs anymore, because that would be dishonest. I love your honey! But he still gives the raunch factor a good push on stage, even if he's poking fun at himself. You told Rolling Stone, I don't want to be singing do you, <laughs> yeah. do you think cool. I'm sexy? Yeah. At 50? Yeah. Because I'll be a parody of myself. Exactly right. And guess what I do now? When I'm doing a show, I put that headline behind me. Do you? Yeah, I do. Because everything changes. Just take the P out of yourself. Yeah, I take the P out of myself. I think that's one thing I love about the British. And the Australians too. Because uh, we're, we're good like that. We manage to laugh at ourselves. And on that one, I do have to laugh at myself. Well, you're allowed to be a sexy grandfather, aren't you? Certainly. Why not? In my heart, you're in my soul. With his trademark crooning husky voice, spiked blonde hair and tight jeans, Rod Stewart always oozed sex appeal. Particularly partial to tall, leggy blondes, 
The superstar has had a bevy of high-profile beauties over the decades. And he married a few of them too. First, there was American Alana Hamilton, then New Zealand's sweetheart, Rachel Hunter. Finally, he has settled down with English Rose, Penny Lancaster. Can we just touch on the image thing over the years? Yeah. Uh, the hard drinking, cheeky larrikin, womanizing brand. He's over in the corner. <laughs> He's gone. But it was good for Brand Stewart. I mean, it sold a lot of songs for you. It made you very lovable. But it was me. It wasn't something I thought, oh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out, get drunk, pull a load of birds. Yeah, people will love that. I was that before I went into the music business. That was the way I was. And when I'm on stage, that is an extension of who I am. You can't escape that, can you? I mean, you've had eight children. Yeah. From five different women. Yeah. Well, you were a fair dinkum rabbit at one stage. I was, yeah. The soldier is back in the barracks. <laughs> or the banana's back in the fruit bowl. <laughs> or the queue is back in the rack. In the rack. <laughs> yeah, thank you. It is a family show. <laughs> Rod and Penny have been together for 20 years. And it seems in Penny, he's finally found his true soulmate. You were probably the world's most successful lion tamer. <laughs> lion tamer. Well, if, if, any, if anyone can. No, I've, I've got a lot of patience, and, and I think the, the kind of the truth and, and the secret behind our longevity of 20 years, almost, this Christmas, is just honesty and, and communication. The couple have two sons together, Alastair, who's 12, and Aidan is seven. They're both avid soccer players, making their father very proud. But unlike most boys, the Stewart brothers have got their very own purpose-built soccer pitch and individual after-school trainers to improve their game. That's on top of the personal coaching tips from Dad. Quick, get it before it goes out. Oh, unlucky. <laughs> He's giving it to Just got to get your body round it more. You remember that turn you were doing with your back to goal? What's he like as a dad? Doting. All right, where you go. Does that mean he's a pushover? Not at all. When I say to the boys, right, you wait till your father comes home. He's, he's a steamroller. Rod's in and it's, right, that's it, no Xbox for a week, no more this, you're, you're grounded. Oh, I'm not accepting that. And, but otherwise, he's a pushover. I mean, he teaches them the, the kind of naughtiest things. Like, we'll be in a restaurant and he'll see you put a pig on the end of a fork and bang it, see how far he'd get across the restaurant. I'm like, darling, like, <laughs> Next week we're in a really posh restaurant or with company that you, where you want them to really behave and they throw a pee across the thing, you'll be telling them off. Um, so he's, he's, he's naughty. I will grow up one of these times. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> what a difference a day makes. I want my kids to be brought up in this country and uh, they love it here. They don't want to go back to LA. What is it though, Rod? I mean, I, I understand where you're coming from, but what is it about... America that you don't want them to be exposed to full time? Um, it's probably because I've seen, with kids being brought up in Beverly Hills, I've seen a lot of damage. In terms of let's drugs? Or... Yeah, let's leave it at that. It's like my parents weren't around. We didn't choose this life, this life chose us. Rod's eldest son, 37 year old Sean, is a good example. He starred in his own reality TV show about spoilt rich kids in Hollywood. You want to go right now? No, no, no. Beat your ass. Yeah. On, bro. It's difficult, isn't it, for uh, kids to have high-profile oh, yeah. parents? Yeah. Someone like you, it's, it wouldn't yeah. be easy, especially when you're going through your teens. Yeah, it's it's a it's a double-edged sword, you know, because you know when they go through their school days, it's difficult for them. Your dad this, your dad that, you know. But then, the other side of it is they're always going to be financially well off. You know, I'm not going to give them tons of money, but they're going to be OK. This is the life, this is the life of the in crowd. Sean has also battled drug addiction in the past. For Rod, it's a sensitive topic and the subject of his first single off the new album, Didn't I? And didn't I try to warn you about that folk in California? Oh, didn't I? It's for parents and this is because I've seen so much of it that are having problems with their teenagers and drugs. Now, this might sound a bit ripe coming from a rock singer, 
But it's as you get older, you, you, you become aware of these things. Where's the future? Never really into drugs, were you? Nah, 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 nah. How did you manage to escape all that? What was it about drugs that you didn't take to? Oh, I'm not saying that I've done a little bit of the age of father, but you know, I'd always go, oh, I mean, those are all blocked up and I won't be able to sleep. What's the point? Some guys Some guys Today, Rod Stewart is credited with career earnings of more than $300 million and he makes sure he enjoys the fruits of his work. I have no qualms, I don't feel guilty about it. I've earned it, I've slogged away at it, you know. Oh, nor should you. And, I, and I've been very wise with the money. Rod Stewart Enterprises. It's, it is, mate. Oh, no, but the one thing that helped make Rod all that money almost disappeared back in 2000, when he suffered from thyroid cancer and lost his voice. These days, he's extremely careful of those golden tonsils. I always feel like you're uh, a prisoner of your own voice when you're on tour. You wake up and you go, oh, there's an itch, there's an itch in my throat, call the doctor. I mean, you're that paranoid. Well, it's the crown jewels, isn't it? Yeah. In fact, I have little signs made, I cannot talk today, voice rest. You don't walk around the house with that? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I can't talk. Absolute silence. It works wonders. Well, thank goodness there's... that's not happening today. <laughs> Rod says for him, it's all about the performance. And his touring days are far from over. Come on, come on, don't be shy. He's aiming to bring the band down to Australia again in 2019. Yeah, I love it. You know, it's, uh, it's not only a pleasure being up there, but I can see the pleasure that I give other people. There's no drug in the world as good as that. <laughs> Oh, no, it does sound like a cliche, though, doesn't it? But it's not for you. It's not, mate. I swear to God, you know, it's... Uh, I, I love every minute it's, I'm up there. And I think people can tell if you're putting it on. You know, they can tell. Coming up, Rod's first big love. She was a big girl. Big girl. And the worst question he's ever been asked. Fuck off. <laughs> That's next on 60 Minutes. Hello, I'm Liam Bartlett. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.